Oh, man. What? Ah, Gameplay 14? Gameplay 14? 2018. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Then, bye-bye. 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 Yes. Oh, dude. Hey, hey. Hi, guys. Oh, man. It is Wednesday, 3.30. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we... Uh, play ping pong at work. So you gotta like that. Actually, I stayed uh, a little bit after work, played a, played a little ping pong. Uh, but we do play. We play on lunch. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Get uh, get the heart rate up, you know. Gotta get your half hour a day of exercise. So that's what that is. And uh, I really like ping pong. We just, uh, we used to have a table when I was a kid. My mom was actually really good at ping pong. She didn't really ever hit it hard, but she had all kind of spins and this serve you had trouble getting back and I mean I mean we're talking about when I was probably 12 13 years old but you know when you're 12 or 13 you figure you can beat your mom at anything right and uh, it wasn't like I wasn't an athletic kid I played all kinds of sports and uh, and uh, even now here I am 43 years old and uh, I'm hanging in there with guys you know half my age but uh, she had some game did my mom you know, those years of experience, that's a great thing about a game like ping pong, though. Anyone can play. You know, you can play any age, you know, until you're old and decrepit and arthritic. You can still keep on playing, you know. You may not hit it as hard, but you still get, you know, those little spin moves and, you know, you get the experience, right? <laughs> anyway, that's a lot of fun. So that's something we do at work. Uh, doing that for about a month now. They just... Uh, Maybe more than a month, maybe a couple of months now. Anyway, they just set up the table for us at work, so uh, it's funny. They put the, the uh, table in there, and they put in an air hockey table, too, and now the air hockey table is just shoved up against the wall. <laughs> no one plays it. Everyone just plays ping pong, so it's good. Um, what do you guys like? Leave me a comment. Uh, tell me, you like ping pong? What kind of sports are you into, you know, that you play? Um, I used to play hockey. I was actually pretty good at hockey. I was uh, Rookie of the Year in Ontario. I got a stick signed by the junior team for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Back in the day, the Toronto Marlies used to be the farm team for the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the big NHL team, and I had a stick signed by all of them. And uh, that would probably be worth something now, except, uh, you know, I like playing hockey, so I ended up using the stick, <laughs> playing hockey with it and breaking it like a moron. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. We had a banquet and everything. I didn't actually get to go to the banquet, but, uh, they had a banquet and they gave me a stick signed by everyone, like I say, and uh, I got this rookie of the year, you know, little plaque. And it was cool. Um, don't have it anymore, but it was pretty cool. Uh, I've got a bunch of hockey trophies from when I played hockey. I actually got bumped up into like the next tier from House League and uh, I didn't like it because they just didn't play you very much like if you weren't playing great in a game they just wouldn't play you anymore they'd put you on the bench and just not play you and to me that was not why I was playing I wanted to play every game you know I didn't want to go to all the practices and then not play in the games that wasn't fun to me so so I uh Quit. I told my parents, you know what, after this season, I don't want to do it anymore. So, that was that. Um, what else? What else nonsense went on in my life? I played soccer. I played soccer for too many years. I didn't actually like soccer very much, but my parents are English, you know, from Britain. And uh, so soccer was a big deal to them, and they wanted me to play that. And so I played that for a number of years. I just... I've always been more of a sprinter when it came to like running around and soccer is a stamina kind of game. You gotta have that stamina and be able to run around for you know 90 minutes on a giant, giant uh, soccer field. Thank you Mr. Bus. Um, and I just didn't have the stamina for it. I was never bad at it. You know, I used to play defense. Um, because I found with defense you only had to run up to half halfway up the field. You know, you'd go from your end to center and that was about it. And and back and forth, so I don't know. It just wasn't for me. 
I played basketball. I played basketball because I got tall, um, kind of, I don't know if earlier than everybody else, but at the same time as all the other guys. So some guys in the school didn't, you know, they didn't shoot up right away. They were uh, still shorter, but I was one of the ones who was up around six foot when I was in like grade seven, grade eight. So we played basketball and we had a really good team one year in, in school, really great. We went all the way, we took the whole thing. I mean, we no one could touch us. We won, I think we pretty much won every game we played, which was great. And then they made us play Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't then. See, I'm mixing up my basketball because I also played basketball with a Y when I was a kid too. Played basketball with a Y, and again with them, we won everything. We, we our team just smoked everybody. And um, but then with the Y, at the end of it all, they said, "You guys are so good. We're gonna get you to play these bigger kids. They were bigger than us." And they pitted us against these guys who were like like a foot and a half taller than us, and they were like older than us and better and man we got destroyed we got so few baskets I got one of the baskets I threw it literally from center court I just got so ticked off that we couldn't get anything I just heaved one from like center and it went in <laughs> and they all got worried these these bigger kids that I was able to sink the ball from a long way away from so from that point in the game on they just put a guy on me and I couldn't even like they wouldn't even, I never even got the ball because my own team couldn't pass to me because he was covering me so thoroughly. I couldn't even get the ball. So that was kind of a downer. It was kind of like, oh, we won the whole thing and that sucks. Now we get embarrassed right at the end. So if you're a, if you're a coach or whatever, don't do that. Don't do that to the team that wins, you know. Let them have the joy of winning because that kind of sucked the joy of the win out of it. I mean, for me anyway, I don't know. And, uh, I don't know, the why was kind of weird because there was a girl on the team who was, we, it was, it was co-ed, so we had a girl on the team who was really cute, and she was, uh, dating another guy on the team, and, um, so they kind of had this whole dating thing going on, and there was another girl on the team who just wasn't my type at all, not at all, but I thought she was interested in me, because, you know, I don't know, picking up something. So at the end of the season, they actually went out for, like, McDonald's for, like, the big celebration after the game. And she came up to me after the game and said, are you going to come and get McDonald's? And I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's have McDonald's. And I was like, I assumed that she was, like, asking me out on a date. And so I'm like, no, 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 no. And I loved McDonald's when I was a kid. I loved it. And uh, my parents said, are we going to go to McDonald's? And I was like, no. And they were like, oh, why not? And everyone's going. And that's when I realized everyone was going. But I told her already that I wasn't going to go. And I didn't want her to think, you know, the truth, which is I didn't want to go to her. So I didn't go. So I missed out on the celebratory meal after the big game. I just, that sucked. Anyway, those are the little stories of my life. I hope you enjoyed hearing them. They're so excited.